Today I would like to show you how to cut a regular heptagon in quite a simple way. A regular heptagon is very interesting shape, but which is very hard to construct just like that and uh, so it's not used very often in origami, but I think it has a big potential because re uh, heptagonal symmetry is a bit different than octagonal and uh, so here you can see some models you can use it for origami models just vary which were originally uh, for made for a regular octagon but you can make simple variation and it falls from heptagon but you can also use it to cut for some kirigami project to cut some stars and some things like that like you can see here uh, this method I derived from construction for regular heptagon which I found on the internet. I will link the exact web page in the uh, description for the video. And uh, on this web page there was stated that that method gives very good result and that uh, the error is very small. But when I really tried to use it in origami, in folded, in folded construction, I realized that the error is much bigger than it was stated. So it needed some um, fiddling around to find a way how to really use it. But uh, I can tell you that it was quite good in the end and uh, I was I'm quite happy with the result. So in the beginning we need to mark to fold your paper in half. Then uh, we made a small mark here on one. I prefer to mark it as mountain as it is more visible. And from the same reason I also mark as mountain the middle of the of this line. So I have two pinch marks here. And what I need to do now, here is a small description. I need to find a point which we will fold. In original construction we f we joined the center of the square with the with this point which we marked there but that's not precise enough. So what we need we need to shift the point in direction to the center and uh, the nice thing is that it is around one hundred so uh, for fifteen centimeters square which I'm using here it's one and a half millimeters, which is quite nice, and I think we have a good eye for that for that distances. For ten centimeters square, it would be around one millimeter. For bigger squares, for twenty centimeters, it should be around two millimeters, and so on. So it depends on the side of the paper which you start with. So pay attention, which is the size of your paper. Uh, so now we are going to do this. So I take my line will go from the center of the square and then I have to shift a bit. I'm not connecting in directly with the pinch mark but I am connecting with the point which is a bit shifted. Half and one and a half millimeters. I make a mountain fold. You can see here. My pinch mark is here, my fold is a bit farther. Now I'm using this line, changing into mountain fold, bring it on the table and I fold it flat. What we got here is quite a good estimation of the angle in the heptagon. This is one part of the heptagon. And now we put it back to the table and we fold this back. Uh, by doing this, we copied the angle, this angle we copied here behind. Now we bring this point, uh, this line, to this line. And what is important for our construction later, you can realize that this point is a bit shorter than that edge uh, behind. We turn the paper and we bisect this big part, so we fold edge to edge again. That's it, and now you can see that 
our precision is quite good they're quite uh, aligned all these three edges and these so that's good for for our heptagon the, the, the final precision what I do now we have to cut and uh, what we what I'm using is that I put the tip of this structure and in between the point in between those two I put on the same line you can see I'm using this line this line so I put them there and then the shortest point which is there it's just the edge of your paper so we put this point on perpendicular line you shift it so that that point will meet your one of the perpendicular lines which are already on your cutting mat then you can use several methods how to cut it you can use metal ruler and cut you can mark it first with pencil and then cut with scissors and if you don't have cutting mat imagine I don't have any line I would fold in half like this and then I can use ruler which has also right angle and you bring this on your bisectors on the fold fold line and then you will go with your ruler till you meet the corner of that edge here this point and again either you just make a line or you use cutter directly so right now I can use scissors to cut and when we open we have quite nice quite precise regular heptagon which I think is uh, good for many many uh, origami projects the precision would be enough good so thank you for watching and happy folding and hope to see some heptagonal creation thank you